Hi, George Peterson here from Front of House. We've got a, a great issue for you this month, starting with our coverage of Mixing Evanescence, where photojournalist Steve Jennings profiles this rock band's tour in support of its latest album with an L-acoustic system from Solotech. We also look at new theater installs. The market for live theater and performing arts centers keeps expanding, and we check out recent audio upgrade and build projects. In-person shows have returned, but at many performances, streaming is still part of the live experience. Steve Savanu shares more of his techniques for optimizing live online audio. In this month's tech feature, David Kennedy looks at how low-frequency systems are always a trade-off of efficiency, size, and bass extension, and how the interaction of various design parameters enter into the equation. Our buyer's guide this month focuses on many 3.5 to 7-inch line arrays. For many live audio applications, smaller format line arrays prove a better fit than medium or large alternatives. We present the latest in mini size systems. We explore new developments in PK Sound's robotic arrays. The remotely controlled dispersion in its Trinity line arrays was revolutionary. Now, with the next-gen Trinity Black series, the company has more technological advances to offer, along with a new business model. So what's in your jute box? Noted FOH engineer Steve Lacera offers a selection of his fave reference tracks for PA evaluation with some familiar favorites and a few surprises. If your church is now doing monitor mixes from front of house, at what point should you consider a separate solution? Our man in the pews, John McJunkin, looks at the issue of mixing monitors for church services. There's a lot more in this month's issue of front of house, whether you read it online, in print, or with our way cool, free iPad edition. But wherever you go, whatever you do, don't piss off the sound guy.